Well, lots of reaction um, coming in, including from the Syrian army this morning. They've given a televised statement in reaction to it, uh, saying that uh, six people were killed and several others injured in the US airstrikes. And they added that there was grave material damage. Well, with me now is uh, Yasmin Nawali, who's from a Syrian community group in Manchester. Yasmin, thank you very much for joining us this mm -hmm. morning. Um, your, your family is from Syria. How do you feel hearing about this this morning? Well, we're still trying to gather our thoughts and we have very mixed emotions. Um, the first thought that comes to mind is finally, um, in the sense that we've watched the international community mumbling for the past six years over how Syria is too complicated and how it's too difficult to do anything. But what we saw is when there was political will, there was an ability to respond to an atrocity committed by the Assad regime. Um, and it just makes us wonder if something like this was done for example, in 2013, when Syria crossed President Obama's red line, could we have saved hundreds of thousands of civilian lives? Could we have saved infrastructure of so many Syrian cities? But at the same time, obviously, we're very cautious and it's difficult to come out and outright endorse uh, a, a military campaign mm -hmm. without knowing what uh, shape or form it's going to assume. Yeah, because we, we've heard um, from President Trump and, and from the US government saying this, this is a, a one-off attack it's not going to be a big change in policy what are you hoping will come out of it well at the very least what this airstrike hopefully would have done is to send a strong message to the Assad regime that the international community isn't going to tolerate your gassing of your people and I think it's also important that th this message not just be sent in response to chemical weapons but you know for us to remember that the vast majority of civilian deaths in Syria have actually been from more conventional weapons um, but at the very least, if it sends that message to Assad that we're not going to sit by and tolerate you doing er, and committing these atrocities against your people, then hopefully this will start making changes in Syria. And one of these changes might even be the, the restarting of the political process in Syria. We have never advocated for a military solution in Syria, um, but maybe this can be the start of more serious political negotiations whereby the Assad regime realizes that the international community is serious about moving these talks forward. And, and negotiating a solution. Yasmin Narali, thank you very much for coming in to talk to us this morning.